you guys. So if you guys did see my video on the Revlon Age Defying CC Cream, you know that CC creams are pretty new to me and I've been playing around with them. And I saw one, the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Cream. I'm going to see how this one works for me. So I got it in medium deep. You get one fluid ounce. It says color capsules infused in a weightless nourishing texture corrects dullness and even skin tone and texture. Over time, the formula infused with vitamin C and calcium delivers five age correcting actions. Reduces the appearance of age spots, dark spots, even skin tone, brightens dull complexion, smooths skin's texture, and firms skin. Corrections apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply it at least every two hours. Use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. There's a little thing on here. I do like the packaging on this. I like the kind of ombre effect. And I will let you guys know about the price somewhere in here because I bought this so long ago. I don't remember how much it was. Oh, this is what it looks like. So I was not expecting that. It's white and it has like little speckles of color, I guess. I'm confused, does this turn colors? I guess it does. Yeah, it smells like um, like body lotion, like unscented body lotion, more than sunscreen. Let's see. Oh, it's a little dark for me, right? It's very orangey, I can't tell. Is it dark? Is it even changing? Let's put it where I have the little blemishes and see what happens. Is it changing? I guess it is. It looks kind of orange, maybe? Can you tell? So I feel like there's no coverage. I guess it did change because you can kind of see it on my hands, right? Okay, I'm adding more. What? So I can't tell if it gets dark for me and it's the wrong tone. But in terms of the actual product, I don't know. I guess it's on. It feels light. Your skin absorbs it, but there's no coverage. I will list what colors it comes in. And you have to be careful applying this because if it does change colors, if you miss a spot or anything like that, you're gonna see it. Sorry, I didn't do my hair today. I guess I'll add another layer. I'm really not sure how I feel about this because I feel like I don't have any control because I can't tell where it's going. The fragrance or the smell is kind of strong. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I look orange. It's kind of perfuming now that I'm working it through. You can definitely smell the fragrance and I don't like the fragrance. I just have to make sure that I get everything because it's like changing color now and I think I missed some spots, but it's not even covering anything. Not, not that a CC cream is like, I guess supposed to cover, but like, hello. This will have to do. It's very perfumey. It feels good on the skin. Not too heavy. So it is 11.30 right now. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and we'll see how I like it. Sorry if the lighting's off. It's really sunny right now and trying not to be where I'm like, you know. But it's about 3.35 right now. Didn't want to set it with anything but I felt like I had to, especially because it seemed a little dark for me. So I did a quick powder over everything, but I don't know if you can see, it's like super reflective. It's very, like my skin is very oily. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to get a light for you. And I did see that it wasn't put on evenly because I couldn't really tell where it was going and how much I put on certain spots and everything. It kind of just felt like I put moisturizer on my face. My skin is, pretty oily right now. And I think that was my friend that just honked right now. It's so funny. Can you see the reflection from my hands, my fingers, from just touching my face? So I feel like a grease ball, right? And that said, I did set it with a little bit of powder. So not loving it so far. All right, you guys, it is now 9.09. After wearing this all day, I kind of feel like it didn't really do much for me. I mean, I feel like I'm not wearing any makeup and not in the sense of like, I know I have it on and I, I, it feels like I'm not wearing it. It literally feels like everything just came off of my face. There was like no coverage, left my skin oily, and that said I used a little bit of a powder. I feel like super oily. I'm gonna show you like that. 
I felt like this was kind of tricky because the way that it comes out, it's hard to make sure that you put everything on nice and evenly. It's kind of hard to see if it is the right shade because it comes out white. In the white on my hand, okay? And rubbing it. It's changing the color as you're rubbing it. I, I guess you can see it kind of changing. Yeah, okay. This is, you get a better idea. It's pretty fragrance. It has a distinct smell and it's very perfumey and I'm not a fan of that. It's a very tricky CC cream in my opinion. And I don't want to have to reapply something every couple of hours. I know that that's how it's said to be used, but I just find that it's an inconvenience. Maybe it's great for your skin, but I'm just not liking it. So for the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC cream, for me it's a no. I don't like it, I'm not a fan. So maybe you guys like it, maybe it works better for you. Let me know in the comments below if it does work better for you or maybe you weren't crazy about it either. Be sure to thumbs up if this video was helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and stay happy, you guys. You're just talking in the background. I feel like an idiot, I'm like, Ooh. oops. I hate this lighting, that's what I don't like.